everyone. Okay, so we're doing problem number 38 um, from your section 2.7, day 2 homework. Um, and this problem says, um, first we're, we start out by looking at the given, um, and it says that angle ABD and angle CBE are right angles. Um, so there's a few things that we can say based on the fact that these two angles are right angles. Um, I have them marked here. Um, you could say that they're congruent. Um, they're both congruent because of the right angle congruence theorem. You can also use definition of right angles um, to say that their measures are equal to 90. So um, this proof is the same number of steps either way. Um, so let's just do what most of you probably did, which is um, say that the measure of angle A, B, D is equal to 90 degrees and the measure of angle C, B, E is equal to 90 degrees. Um, and we know that because that's the very definition of a right angle. Okay, definition of right angle. So now we have to figure out what else we can say. Looking at what we're trying to prove, notice we're trying to prove that ABC, angle ABC, is congruent to DBE. And here, those angles aren't even stated anywhere in the proof. So we have to start getting them involved somewhere. So the next thing I want to do is try using the angle addition postulate. So sometimes when you're not sure what to do, this is a really good step. Um, so what I'm going to start by saying is measure of angle A, B, D equals. So looking at A, B, D, this entire angle, it's made up of the measure of angle A, B, C plus the measure of angle C, B, D. So now we're getting angle A, B, C into the mix, which is great because we're trying to prove something about that. Um, we can also, in the same step, say that the measure of angle C, B, E is equal to the measure of angle uh, D, B, E plus the measure of angle C, B, D. All right, and that is the angle addition postulate. Okay, so now I know that these angle measures on the left-hand side are both 90 degrees. So I might as well go ahead and substitute that in to make um, this a little bit easier to see. So I'm going to say 90 degrees is equal to measure of angle ABC plus measure of angle CBD. And also 90 degrees is equal to measure of angle DBE plus measure of angle CBD. Okay. And that was the substitution. property. Okay, so again, I want to relate angle ABC to DBE. Notice that ABC is in this equation and DBE is in this equation. So we have to figure out some way where we can set these two things, these two sides of the two equations equal to each other. Notice that 90 is on the other side of both equations. So we can cut out this 90. 90 is the middleman. Um, so here, in step 5, we can go ahead and say, let me move this over a little bit because we need some space. We can go ahead and say that the measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle CBD is equal to the measure of angle DBE plus the measure of angle C. B, D. So I just set this side equal to that side. Um, and that was the transitive property. You could have also used substitution there where you're just physically substituting this whole side of the equation in for 90. Um, but I like the transitive property better. It's easier to see for me. Okay, so now we're almost there. These are the two things that we want. 
in our equation, ABC and measure of angle DBE. Notice that measure of angle CBD and measure of angle CBD are written both times here. So now what I'm going to do is subtract this. Minus the measure of angle CBD, minus the measure of angle CBD, okay? And they wind up subtracting out, so I'm left with measure of angle ABC is equal to the measure of angle DBE. Great, we're almost there. So that was the subtraction property. And then the last step would be to switch to congruence. So ABC is congruent to angle DBE using the definition of congruence. And we're done.